So Brad, here's a quick uh, overview for you. Uh, just to, you can go always go back and, and look at this video just to kind of reiterate what we're talking about. So I would say, you know, first things first, we, we want to try to feel like the hands are a little bit higher. Uh, I'd like to see the, the hands kind of run into the zipper. And, and we can do that really by just taking a, just a touch of knee flex out uh, so that the shaft should be, maybe if I draw another line here, shaft should be up a little bit more. And again, we're trying to get out of that initial thought of, hey, if I flex or if I tilt more, that's gonna help me stay down. So we're trying to get you out of that just a little bit. Uh, overall, this is this is your kind of first, first move. So your first move is a kind of a head popping up, not a whole lot of wrist set. So here we are at, let's call it hip level, and you can see how the left arm and the shaft are still pretty linear at this point. So it stay, continues to stay linear, you continue to pop up, and then when you get to the top, both arms kind of bend, and then that's your, that gives you your sense of, hey, I'm ready to swing down. But by the time you get there, you can see that obviously we're too tall and out of posture. Um, Apologize if you're not a Tiger fan, but I have I have other other players here. But the the idea you can start to see again at about hip hip high, his hands are starting to set the club a little bit sooner, so you can see how high the club is. Left shoulder pointing downward, so we're starting to get a pretty steep look with the left shoulder. There's no exact angle that we're really looking for, but we know that we don't want it going up. And you can see that it kind of happens to you there. And then there's that positioning I was telling you about. So elbows are lower, shaft, you can still see the shaft and the club head, but obviously different, different looks there. All right, so let's see here. So we talked about setting the club a little bit sooner. So I'm gonna say that we're, the goal would be to try to put the club head kind of in that circle as you create a 90 degree angle between the shaft and your left arm, all right? So your, your hands aren't gonna move lateral to start the swing. You're just gonna feel like this this, it's all wrist just to get the club head set or parallel to the ground, right? Um, and then once you get it there, then you're just feeling like your left shoulder is going to continue to work downward. So this is a totally different look here for you. And I'm, I'm, I'm obviously forcing you into keeping yourself lowered. Uh, you're going to feel a little bit of stretch in your, your trail hip, all right? maybe a, a little bit of stretch in your hamstring, but as long as you let your hips turn, that should be pretty minimal, right? So left shoulder is much lower. And then as you, so there's, that's kind of what we just saw in Tiger right there. So low elbows, still see the club head. And then as you deliver that back down, your hands will have a better chance of moving more downward, which is what they're doing here, versus outward. And that ultimately will shallow the shaft out a little bit um, and produce a little bit more of an inside-out swing. All right, so we're trying to change your pivot, which includes your shoulder turn and your hip turn, to ultimately change the way the shaft works down. Uh, the last thing that I did with you was I took the, uh, if we have a red line here, I put a club across your, oops, try that again. I put a club, Brad, across your shoulders, and I said, hey, I want you to try to, if I put a, a ball out here where my heel is on the ground and I said, hey, let's turn your shoulders under so that the butt end of the club points closer to that golf ball. Again, that'll give you a feel of some of the restricting, um, you know, the restrictiveness you'll, you'll have in your hip and your, you know, in your hamstring possibly. All right. Anyway, keep me posted and good luck with it.